Today we're taking a look at what's new in iOS 8.2 Beta 4. As with previous beta builds of iOS 8.2, in iOS 8.2 Beta 4 there's really not a whole lot that's changed or new. However, there is something very, very cool that puts a rumor to rest that I can't wait to talk about. Up on screen right now, you see a screenshot from 9to5Mac, of course, full credit for this image goes to them, and the article where I pulled the screenshot from is right down below in the description. The reason why I can't show you this Bluetooth preference screenshot on my test device, which is an iPhone 4S, is because the iPhone 4S is unfortunately not compatible with the Apple Watch when it will be released. It believes support for the Apple Watch starts from the iPhone 5 and up from that. Regardless, we're taking a look at this screenshot as you see on screen. It says under other devices, to pair an Apple Watch with your iPhone, go to the Apple Watch app. So after months and months of rumors, we're finally seeing, and it's confirmed 100%, that there will be a standalone Apple Watch utility or separate application that you'll need to use to set up your Apple Watch, and I assume you'll be able to change some settings from the iPhone to the app from the iPhone app on your iPhone to the Apple Watch device itself. Secondly, we're not sure yet if the Apple Watch setup app or the Apple Watch app in general is going to be pre-installed when you download iOS 8.2, meaning it'll be an app like Messages, Safari, Settings, stuff that's pre-installed on your iPhone when you first get it, or if you'll have to go out to the App Store and download it yourself, an app like iMovie, Numbers, Keynote Pages, apps like that that Apple makes that isn't pre-installed on your device but you can, down them, you can download them on the App Store. Once again, nobody knows at this point in time it could be pre-installed on your device or you might have to go to the App Store to download it. And either one seems like a good possibility if you ask me. If you want to see more news on iOS 8.2 and the Apple Watch, make sure you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I have to OS because I love covering this stuff. And of course, if you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to hit that like button down below. This has been Sam with iUpdate OS, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.